again folks, I thought tonight I'd do a quick 5 minute tool review but knowing me I'll probably end up in a half hour rambling video but I will endeavour to keep it uh, as short and sweet as I can. Yeah I thought I'd review this uh, Mastec MS8910 Smart SMD tester. Um, essentially what it is is a pair of tweezers that identify surface mount devices. You know you basically pick up the component with these tweezer uh, tips here and the unit will analyse the component and tell you the, uh, the value of it. And yeah, I think it's ideal for, you know, a hobbyist like you and I. It's, I would, wouldn't suggest you use this in a, a professional environment. Maybe you would, I, I'm not sure. But certainly for us, uh, it's an ideal uh, little tool. Especially when you're buying kits like this from like AliExpress. And, you know, a lot of the components do have a, a silk screen uh, on top. But um, things like... You know, these, what are those, probably 0603, something like that. These little uh, surface mount capacitors. There's no value attached to them, and quite often they don't uh, write on the, the, the values. And if you've got multiple components of the same size, and yeah, maybe your eyesight's not as good as it uh, once was, certainly mine's is getting like that, you know, something like this is going to help you out building, uh, building these kits. So, we'll take a look at it, and then, of course, we'll test it out. And just uh, see how it performs. So yeah, it comes in the box. It, like I say, it didn't come in the outer box. Sold as new, uh, new but unboxed. Um, in the box, you get a spare set of uh, gold-plated tips, a small, uh, you know, the briefest of of user manuals. It, it tells you everything you need to know. It's fairly straightforward. And of course, the device itself. The box, I should say, is is rather smart. You know, it, it holds it nice and. And tightly and you know it's it's going to protect it's quite uh, robust so it's going to protect that if you've got it you know rattling around in a toolbox or you know I've you know just going to keep it safe and not bend the tips of that you know when it's in your your, your workbench or whatever like that so if we take it out we'll get that out of the way Um, you can see that the unit has an LCD display and just two buttons. You've got function and hold. Uh, to turn the unit on, you just hold the function button. And as you can see, straight away, it goes into scan mode. Now, if you know that you're going to be testing, say, a lot of resistors, you can change it to, uh, you know, the resistor mode. It's got a continuity mode where you can just uh, obviously touch the tips together and it will give you that beep, that audible signal to say there's continuity there. And then um, we've got a diode uh, check as well, and that will give you the forward voltage of the, the surface mount diode. Also, it does measure capacitance, like, like I say, for, for unmarked uh, you know, 0603, 0805 type ceramic capacitors, this is going to be invaluable for, for identifying the values if it's not marked on and make your... Uh, you know, make building your kit far more, uh, more uh, or less, uh, with less frustration, I should say, if that makes sense. Um, but we'll put it on scan mode and then just briefly put it through its paces with a number of components and, and see how it performs. Um, I'd say that it does have a full, uh, sorry, does have a hold function as well. And basically once you've you've got your value, if I just hold the tip just now, it'll think I'm a capacitor, but then I can press hold when it sort of stabilizes. Um, we'll just stop it there. And that will hold the, you know, hold the, the value there so you can refer to it. Uh, later on it does uh, shut off power itself however you can hold the power button sorry the function button and it will turn off uh, on the back we've got uh, the CE mark uh, never uh, was that never used the test it on live circuits and it uses a, a CR2032 lithium battery uh, I don't believe it measures voltage I haven't actually read the manual that well to be honest uh, I doubt it does but um, of course, if you're going to be measuring voltages, you probably just use a bench type or a you know, handheld type multimeter that most hobbyists have uh, in the workshops these days. So yeah, let's uh, turn it on and we'll get some components in. I've just got a, a, a couple of, uh, a small selection of components. I've got some ceramic capacitors there, some uh, uh, resistors and some electrolytics and a diode in here that we can test. So we'll go ahead and, and give it a, a blast. Um, first of all, we'll test uh, a diode. If I can get the thing out, I could, of course, use a set of tweezers if I had some. For now, for now. Um, and I will, of course, endeavour not to get my big head in the way. So if we just grab the side of the components, it doesn't do anything because it's not making contact. Very difficult to do at this angle. There we go. So we can see that way around it's saying overload, which means 
the diode's good that way. And we twist it round. Ah, <laughs> this is going to be it's going to be the other way around again, isn't it? There we go. You can see the forward voltage there, uh, 0.538. So there we go. We can see that the, the diode is working and is not shorted. Of course, if it's a, a, a duff diode, you're going to get overload uh, regardless of which way you put that round. Now, um, electrolytic caps, I have found it quite difficult, I must admit. I did have a, a brief play around with it. Um, it's quite difficult to get contact on the tips but just because of the, they're so small but we can see there 23.89 uh, nanofarads there uh, it's slipping off here but what I found if it's something like that you can actually put it sort of further up and hold it in between the flats of the jaws on a, a uh, electrolytic and it actually works quite effectively so that's uh, yeah 23.85 uh, millifarads microfarads so I should say um, so that, that works fine for those uh, resistor wise, we've got a 470 kilo ohm here. These are this is a loose kit I got from Sure Electronics. It was very cheap, um, but really frustrating because the rather than being in nice coils, um, they they are just they've been taken off the the carrier tape and yeah, they just uh, stick everywhere. There we go. There's one down there. Pop that back in there. So. If we just uh, grab it by the sides, uh, 470, I've dropped it again, 468, that's 0.467 mega ohms, so yeah, uh, yeah, 470 kilo ohms, that's, that's uh, fairly accurate, pretty good. Uh, what have we got next? Uh, 10 nanofarads. Now these are tiny, these are 0603 and I will have to try and find them. There we go, 9.57 before it uh, ejected itself from the, the tips and ended shooting across the watch shot there. Luckily two fell out, <laughs> that one's gone as well. Right, there we go. I'm not going to drop this one. 9.68, so yeah, close enough to 10. And finally, I've got uh, some 70 nanofarads here. Uh, slightly bigger, I'm not sure what size these are. And 69.4 nanofarads. So yeah, that almost bob on there. So it's not without its problems. Yeah, the, the tips here, they are so fine. Um, if we just get it to, to focus it, they are so fine that um, they are quite difficult to, to pick up. Now, of course, I'm trying to get those pick up to show you the value. If I just go down here and, you know, put my head in, I don't know if my head's in shot here, but if I go in here, I can actually, you know, pick it up. Uh, quite easily there's no no problems at all there it works quite well um, but just something to be uh, you know wary of if you're if you're using this uh, yeah it, it can be quite difficult to pick them up if you you have to move it around not that you probably would but there you go um so yeah an ideal uh, little tool it seems to perform quite well and for the price it's um it's pretty good. Um, I don't know if I mentioned at the start of the video, apologies if I'm repeating myself here, but before making this video, I checked, and you can pick this up on eBay, brand new in the box. I'm not sure if it was from China, I didn't actually check that, but for about £16, £17. Pounds. And certainly if you go over to Amazon, um, you can get it on Prime. If you needed one urgently, you can get one next day for about 25 quid, which isn't a huge amount of money. Uh, of course, it's fairly niche. Um, if you're still... Um, using through hole components for your kits and stuff like that then of course you might not need one of these but as i've said in a couple of my videos before the way things are going you know everything is surface mount now and there's so many of these surface mount practice kits available uh, for uh, this was about 50p delivered from china that it kind of makes sense to start getting involved with it and start you know getting these uh, cheaper tools to sort of advance your enjoyment of uh, you know the electronics hobby uh, surface mount stuff is very very rewarding um, once you get 
uh, to know how to do it um, and it's not difficult I've done a few videos um, some have been criticised strangely enough which I think was a bit unjust because I think the way I was shown how to do surface mount stuff was, was reasonably good um, I'll maybe actually link to maybe a couple of the videos at the end of this video so if you if you do fancy getting into uh, surface mount stuff you can see just how easy it is but I'd, I'd wholeheartedly advise you or recommend that you, you actually start getting into surface mount stuff because you know actually building a circuit that is so small and functional is is you know it's let's say it's really rewarding and quite enjoyable um and after the initial frustration you, you'll want to keep coming back to it so there we go that was a quick i said five minute to review it's now 10 minutes so i think i've done not too bad knowing my previous uh, track records on rambling on um but yeah hopefully you enjoyed it maybe you'll uh, head out and purchase one of these um let's say ideal for for the hobbyist uh, and get you to you know improve and enjoy your hobby even more so thanks for watching guys if you and girls i should say i shouldn't be uh, assume that you're all lads out there um, but yeah boys and girls if you did enjoy the video give me a thumbs up if you didn't give me a thumbs down as i say any interaction is brilliant any comments or questions of course pop them down below in the comment section and i'll be sure to reply to them until next time guys thanks very much for watching and as always take care of yourselves and all the best